We have team coverage for you on the storm tonight. We begin with our Josh Peterson, who went out early this morning and found a wide array of damage. He has more on that and the storm itself. While most people were asleep, the tropical atmosphere currently sitting over the Bemidji area was all it took to form a strong, severe thunderstorm that pushed its way through Beltrami and Hubbard counties, leaving pockets of widespread damage. A very intense thunderstorm moved into the Bemidji area. We did have a, uh, a significant lead warning time from the National Weather Service. They were forecasting winds of 60 to 80 miles per hour, and that's exactly what played out across Bemidji. A code red emergency notification was issued and warning sirens sounded to warn everyone of the potential life-threatening storms. Once we got reports from deputies that said that their vehicles were almost being blown off the road, um, that is when we activated outdoor warning sirens and we had already initiated the code red notification. The storm's powerful winds were clocked in the range of 57 to 94 miles per hour around Bemidji. The span of the damage ranges from power outages and basic utilities to roofs of homes and businesses blown off to trees uprooted and blown down. Our street guys are out in full force opening up the roads. We've had, we've had guys out since 2 in the morning from the street department and our utility department as well. So we're, we're still kind of in a triage mode, mode right now. We're still assessing. The storm packed a powerful punch, forming a strong bow echo, creating strong wind downbursts, blowing down just about anything in its path. We're not seeing any indication of any kind of tornado. All the uh, wind damage is very um, consistent with a west to east lay down, um, which is uh, very indicative of very intense straight line winds. Some of the area's hardest hit were those directly north of Bemidji. Over at Bemidji Sports Center, the roof was completely lifted off two of their buildings and blown across Highway 71 to the neighboring field. What looks like snow that's on the ground is actually insulation that blew off from the roof of Bemidji Sports Center. Across the highway at Steele's Auto Body, the shop lost a large portion of its roof and rafters. The strong winds carried them an estimated 130 yards away across a field. For business owner Rick Steele, he was prepared for the worst when he came into work this morning. Actually, I expected worse. Uh, I thought there might be more of the roof gone than, than what was here. Nearby at the Bemidji Regional Airport, two planes were overturned and one was spun around. Throughout Bemidji, the area's hardest hit in the July 2nd, 2012 storm fell victim to Mother Nature yet again. Greenwood Cemetery and Diamond Point Park were hit hard. Diamond Point Park remains closed and is considered unsafe. Diamond Point, of course, looks like it was hit the worst, has some significant trees that, that are down there. While the residents of the city of Bemidji clean up, residents are reminded to be careful and use caution when cleaning up. A lot of people using chainsaws, saws, heavy equipment and machinery trying to clean this out. Another thing to keep in mind, it is supposed to be very hot and humid for the next couple of days. Um, don't uh, fall victim to heat ailments, don't overexert yourself, make sure you're drinking plenty of uh, water and stay hydrated. The city of Bemidji is asking residents to place brush and tree limbs on the curb for city pickup. To allow everyone enough time to clean up their property, the city curbside pickup will begin on Tuesday, July 26th. Well, any resident that has storm damage, storm debris, they can, if they bring that out to the curb, put it three, four feet behind the curb, we'll have large trucks with grapples and we'll be picking all of that up starting on Tuesday. The city of Bemidji is hopeful to have most, if not all, of the cleanup completed by next weekend. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.